Welcome back guys into a new video to Express. Today, I'm going to show you how to get started in adding a domain, of course, into hosting up. It's going to be a really easy process. So the very first thing in order to do is to click into the link that I'm going to be leaving you down below in the description so we can start totally from scratch. So to get started, first of all, what you need to do, of course, is to understand why connecting a custom domain is going to be really affordable using this directly inside the even Shopify. So we have a hosting a domain and let's go and sign in. So using a custom domain for your Shopify store helps build brand credibility and helps, of course, to make it easier for the customers to understand what are you trying to sell. So first of all, what I need to do, of course, is to sign into my hosting account. And at the same time, I'm going to open a new tab and I'm going to sign directly into my Shopify store. Just in case you haven't claimed a Shopify store, you have the link to download in the description. So we can all get started totally for free. And of course, having a huge deal later on. So once you are inside Shopify and once you are inside hosting it, you might see here that we are now inside the administrator dashboard of the Shopify. If you are here into hosting, the hosting guide, you might see that here we have our new domain. So the very first thing you know what to do, or the second thing is to find your domain's DNS settings. Now let's explain this just a little bit much more faster. If you focused into domains, you can always look out for getting a new domain. So I'm going to click here and of course look out for a domain that I would like to purchase. For example, Exana. I'm going to hit for it searched. And here we have a bunch of elements that we can use and we can buy directly here into hosting it. So for example, let's say that I have exana.chat, exana.org, exana.online, and much more elements. So if you kind of like one of those, what you want to do is to make the purchase into the right part that says buy domain. So as you can see, we have the domain privacy protection, the payment method, the tax and the fees, and the total coupon added. So hitting to complete the payment. After you have now completed the payment, you can always go back here into domains and look out for the domain portfolio. Here you can just reference all the domains you have now purchased. And you clicked here in into the option that says managed. Now, here as you can see, we have a lot of elements about your domain. Focus into the left part that says DNS name servers. Here you might be seeing that we have the DNS records into the upper side. Scrolling a little bit down, you should see that we have a lot of this information here. So just leave this and go back directly into the Shopify Administrator dashboard. Let's start by adding the A record to the C name record. I'm going to hit into settings inside of Shopify. And here to the left part, let's go for domains. Into domains, I'm going to go for the option that says connect an existent domain. Now here, what you want to do is to copy the name of your domain. If you don't remember it, you don't have to worry about that. Just going to go here to express videos online. I paste it and go for next. Now it's going to be telling us to make the connection of the domain. So if you wanted to follow the instructions, let's go for a verify connection. Of course, this one is going to be incomplete because we needed to add this info. So let's add this information directly into your hosting. So back into the DNS servers, I'm going to go here to manage DNS records. Let's add the very first one, which is a record at, and this is the record value. So a record at the required value and add the record. The next thing to add should be the C name, triple W and the current value. So I'm going to go here, C name, triple W, and this is the target. So um, before you add one, if you have this bar, this red bar, you want to make sure that there's no other C name out here. If it is, then delete it in order to add it into your new DNS record. So I'm going to put it once again and hit into add the record. Now, as you can see, we have the one and the two already been added. So let's go now back. And here, let's go into the option that says verify connection. If the domain has not been verified yet, you don't have to worry about it. We just need to wait a few minutes to tell the process has not been successfully done. Verification of the double SL pending. So just make sure that this one actually is going to be added automatically. So you don't have to do absolutely anything. Just go back, wait a few minutes till this verification has now been completely done. And then you're actually good to go. The last thing to do is to copy the URL 
and paste it into your new bar navigation bar to make sure that you are now able to navigate directly into Excelina. So as you can see, this one actually looks a little bit different because the uh, SSL is not been configured yet. But this is how we can actually make the configuration between the actual hosting directly into Shopify. And that is it, guys. That is a grab of how we can actually do this actual process. If you have any trouble, double check your DNS settings in the hosting gear. Make sure there are no typos. You have removed any conflicting DNS records. And remember that this can take up to 48 hours to propagate. So be patient. So you have now successfully connected your hosting gear domain directly into Shopify. If you find this tutorial helpful, please like this video, subscribe to TechPress, and hit that notification bell for more tech tips and tutorials. Thank you once again for watching this video. Hopefully, we can all see you next time.